The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers podcast, episode 998. Let's talk about where we are in the timeline. We are, this is it. This is the last time we get together uh, for two episodes before we do episode 1000. Next Monday, we will meet uh, to do 999, which will be a little, uh, uh, wow. right. And then we will get together again on Wednesday, wow. March 2nd, and we will do 1000 wow. live. We will be giving away $1,000 over the course of the episode, you will need to be a subscriber on our YouTube page. Uh, go to YouTube slash go The Whiskey subscribe. Brothers. Hit subscribe on that. That's the only way to win uh, all the stuff that we're giving away. Thousand bucks. Thousand bu- a thousand dollars. And if you send a friend, you get like complicit dollars uh, for having sent, you know? Yeah. Well, we're going to figure this out. We're going to give you all something for playing and being here. No, it's all going to be fun. Uh, we have a live show April 2nd. Uh, that is happening Dukes. at Dukes in Humble. Uh, so I'm sure we'll see our folks over at Old Humble. We have uh, a lot to talk about coming up on that show, but those tickets, uh, if they're not available now, will be available soon. All four Whiskey Brothers will be there, um, the three of us, including Sam Damaris. Uh, and he'll be here for the 1,000th episode as well. Uh, lots, okay, cool. lots, yeah, yeah, so we're all, we're all figuring it out. It's, I know uh, I almost fucked that up. No, those are the uh, what the uh, the, the dates. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, but I think we I think we got it all sorted out, and uh, neither your mistake or his boats or any of the other shit's gonna <laughs> fuck it up. Trey and I were gonna be here regardless. We're gonna, you hey, cock hey, Slade. <laughs> yeah, we had this, but you know what? We've been we've been drunk and talked on a podcast before. Yeah. To get we got this. Uh, we're joined by Antonio Aguilar back from Peru, uh, the, the ambassador for all things guinea pig. Um, <laughs> Cerdo de Guinea. Uh, we, oh, uh, cheers to you, man, and welcome back. It's good to have you on the podcast. He is a standout contestant on Is This Thing On, a show we host on Tuesdays. Uh, if you don't know that, you should. That also on the YouTube page. Really, 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 yes. really funny. So uh, what uh, what are we doing? We're drinking. We're ca- it's always the second show. We're drinking a little less than we drank the first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Always have to. Got to pace ourselves. <laughs> well, we yeah. were talking earlier about... Uh, about different ways to improve entertainment sports. Okay. Sports entertainment, sorry. Uh-huh. Clearly, I don't follow sports. <laughs> entertainment sports is a good way. To and I uh, I asked <laughs> entertainment sports. The sports so ball. wrestling. Yeah, but yeah. I, yeah, any sport, whatever. I just asked, um, what sport could you make better by making them have a mandatory blood alcohol level to compete in the Wait. sport? Wait, what sport would What's be better? Would be more entertaining to, to watch. us as consumers. Yeah, if you made them, if you got them drunk first. Yeah, they gotta have mandatory BAC of like point oh eight to start or higher. Uh, yeah, or I, higher. I, I, I I lean towards higher. Yeah, uh, there's <laughs> yeah. no let's not put a ceiling on it, right? Okay. That's a if yeah. you're gonna be a professional, there's gonna be different levels of you professional. Just gotta be alive and drunk somewhere. There's gonna be a Michael Jordan <laughs> or whatever these I are. Exactly. I wanna watch the the, the NBA slam dunk contest. Yeah. Oh, oh All Star <laughs> Week. All Star <laughs> Weekend. You gotta do it. Or the three point contest, Ooh. and it's like Steph Curry made three shots, <laughs> <laughs> and he is taking home the gold. <laughs> the <now>. winner. <laughs> yeah. Well, if somebody's already a big fan of drunk boxing, I wanna watch. Drunk certified boxing. Drunk boxing. <laughs> Drunk boxing. Legit Ooh. boxing. Call that bar fight. Yeah, up. that's wow. a. Oh, you see it. Kimbo slice back. You know. yeah. <laughs> I want to see if anybody gets a knockout. That's uh. <laughs> that's not self inflicted. Yeah. Or wrestling right. and see if it leads to fucking. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> <laughs> There's a knockout. If someone just blacks out, it wasn't even. Yeah, that's a, just all self It's a double yeah. knockout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they hugged for a minute and they both <laughs> fell down. By STKO. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're Jack Daniels. They're, clen- Jack. they're clenching. He's like, "I love you, man. <laughs> that's a- I love you." <laughs> the guy in the red corner is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't come out for the eighth round. <laughs> yeah, this seat feels good. <laughs> the other guys at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. That's fantastic. Mines are probably curling. You, you start hitting oh. on the 
you start hitting on the ring girl while you're <laughs> oh. <laughs> in the middle of a round. Like, I can't wait for round eight. I can't re- wait for round eight, wait, baby. Wait a minute. Hey! Wait a minute. <laughs> you think people curl sober? Yeah, I was about to say. So There's, have you seen the curling <laughs> contestants? There's no way they're doing that well, sober. I've, that's the bowling of the North. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, that's nobody's first sport. <laughs> 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 I've settled. I've settled for curling. That's, you know. that's, that's your two ACLs later. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, <laughs> that's a, a drunk marathon. Hold curling, oh. curling is the sports equivalent of doing Cur- stand-up your, comedy your respect, after yeah. curly expectations. There it is. There it is. Curly it's the it's the sports equivalent of doing stand-up comedy after you were an actor or something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just like everybody ends up there. Yeah, <laughs> that's where really, everybody's like, "How'd you get into curling?" Shit, I wasn't fast enough. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> well, so I started with the drinking. Yeah, I started with the drinking. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, maybe archery would be yeah. i think anything requiring uh very you, like, as long as you don't hit an audience member ah <laughs> no 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 no. that's the fun of it there's gonna be some people that you know some people want to sit right by the fence in those nascar events target in front of the stands yeah that, no that's what you put it there it's How like dedicated a dedicated are you yeah and then you put people back there like you're trying to get them to miss a field goal with those wavy yeah. sticks yeah. Yeah. there's the fat guy with his stomach out like doing yes that. exactly but he's got the target painted on it and it's all okay. way, yeah you're allowed to distract them like they're shooting free throws yeah, I, you ever notice how you can do that in basketball, and then you th- can't do that in golf? It's, I know, it, bro. That's is what because it it's a white sport and it's a black sport. <laughs> what is that? What no, because you well because they let people distract for free throws. They let the audience distract, and for oh golf, yeah, and, and in golf and they golf. don't let you distract. No, you can't. You're supposed to be rooting for the golfer. That's so stupid. That's you're allowed, you're rooting in silence. To distract baseball players, right? Yeah. No, uh, yeah. pitcher, pitcher. But it's anytime. No, you got to be really quiet during white sports. That's a uh, you got to whisper. That, and, you got to whisper in a bank. Bowling too. That looks NASCAR is known for its silence. <laughs> NASCAR is known for its silence. That's you can't hear over that. That's it's not yeah. really a sport. Is yeah. it a sport? NASCAR. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we've we've been through. If you want, you want, you want to piss off the fucking. <laughs> we just want to piss off. Him. Large yeah. animal with an emoji that yeah. has or has not been blocked. Automobile racing is one of the most demanding. I think it's a sport. Fucking sports. There is. Uh, G forces or fucking feet leverage or some shit or whatever. Well, and you yeah. can't be too big. Yeah, it's, it's got to be. Yeah. Some shit Your in heart there. can't take it if the car goes too fast. I would love uh, a guy who could barely get inside the car. Y'all picked up. And he's win- he's winning. <laughs> that conversation. That's exactly. That's basically. He's coming through first with all the weight and as well. He's still faster than anyone. Yeah, but he gets rid of some of the other stuff that caught that that takes up space in a NASCAR, like Confederate Breaks. flags and sh- <laughs> brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I stopped being a big and now I can fit in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this. I had, I had a cousin that raced stock cars, and I was down with him. This guy had built him a new car, and it was uh, my cousin was going to check out the car, see if he wanted to buy it and use it for a stock car. Mm. And uh, my cousin gets in, and he takes a lap around the track, and he comes back, and he looks at the old man. And he says, well, I can't reach the brakes. And the dude goes, get the fuck out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> Brakes just keep you from running over people in the pit. That shit don't matter. Get the fuck out of my car. Wow. Oh my God. I mean. I'm not selling a loser in my goddamn car. <laughs> that's a, I, I assume that do they, 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 they alcohol test them. They make oh, the yeah, breathalyzer yeah, yeah. before no, the. No, nah, I'm down for drunk racing. Okay. God. Drunk damn, racing would be. On lawnmowers. Oh, no. Wait the a second, Jerry. Hill? Yeah, have you ever seen them race lawnmowers? Race well, where would I have seen this, Jerry? Let's You're listen. From Beaumont. <laughs> okay, that is true. That's true. All right, fucker. Don't give me a real answer. That's <laughs> it. I know you said we're not allowed to say that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say you weren't allowed That's to say it. I said, true. I said please don't say it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the words I'm blocked. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful mountain. <laughs> Oh shit! All <laughs> oh, the French. Anyways, they race lawnmowers, and uh, I just now I've been be to I've been to belt sander racing. Is it who can lo- uh, mow the lawn the fastest, or is it like who can? Uh, oh no 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 no! It's that's, like a track. Okay There's okay jumps. okay. It's uh, well, a lawn would be a track when you factor in the appliances and vehicles that are probably oh yeah 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 fair, littering fair. it. Uh, all your but the yeah, I, I've seen belt sander races. Oh yeah, that's that was a big one down in uh. So belt sanders, which uh, Jerry'd be familiar oh, with, the yeah. belt sanders, that makes sense to me. they would put them in these little troughs, and then they would hook them up, and then they would boop, 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 and then they would press a button, and their belt sanders would 
race down the track. And I, 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 but I, there is a lot of drunkenness involved. Oh, there was no sobriety involved. Yeah. We were in a place way. called the Thirsty Pelican, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, it's the only way to make sense of what you're participating in. <laughs> yeah, like, we gotta be drunk if yeah. we <laughs> if we betting and cheering this on. <laughs> well, that's that's the horse racing has yeah. to be in that. I saw drunk rednecks one night. It, this outdid me on anything I'd seen. I was in a bar in Leeville, Texas, and everybody's like, oh, we're about to do the races. We're about to do the races. And I was like, oh, fuck, there's like going to be some racing going on and shit. The bar had some property out back. And they're, we're about to see the races. And we go out there, and this guy has built this giant plywood table, and people are betting, and they put pool ball, billiard balls, at the top of the table, and they pull a slot, and the billiard balls race down the fucking table and hit obstacles and shit, and they're bet like hundreds of dollars. They're playing white down. trash <laughs> plinko. <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> betting on my ball, betting on my like, damn. Yeah, like, I mean, now if you think about it, that's a that's really not a bad way to kill time if you live in a place it's like, like that. Like bastard dies yeah. hillbilly roulette. It is, but there, it's roulette because there's <laughs> no at least with horse racing. You can strategy. do some. You can do some homework and at least pretend to have read about the horse yeah. and know where it got its Breed horse sperm that. or whatever happened. But e- even with belt sander races, you know something <laughs> you about the wattage and the this and the that. Pull up HomeDepot.com and just look for the fastest one and but bet the, on that one. <laughs> right. The only variance in pool balls and the surface of a piece of plywood are like on a quantum level. I think mm. not to make it all science, you idiots. But the the there's yeah, that no. Was, that was He's real still stinging about that comment. There's. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You had there, one, okay? There, but no, there's no, there's no math you can do to figure out which pool. But it's not like the six is always faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not like they make it. They make the six like this. Oh, you know, there's one it would be the A. It would be the A. One of it's, them. Yeah, it's the, 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 the A. The black balls have a different, an extra calf muscle. I don't know if you <laughs> know so that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> science. <laughs> That's really you do it, Richard Petty. They can also Drill jump high. Yeah, absolutely. That's, 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 that's so funny. Eight ball jump high. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would have to ring in with uh, with with archery. Um, Archery's a good. One, what yeah. else would be? Why has it got to be? Why has it just got to be sports? What else in life would be better if you just did it drunk? What aside have you not from tried? aside uh, from voting? Uh, what isn't better? Um, <laughs> a voting is be- wait, voting. You should have to drink to vote yeah. because. Yeah. Oh, Think about that. There, is there ever a moment then? Is there ever a better moment than when you're at your drunkest that you're like, "Fuck what my parents stuck in my yeah. head." You know what I mean? Like you're free voting for the first time in your adult life yes. without your childhood left or right crammed in your brain. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure yeah. that's gonna work out for America. Well, look, that's <laughs> that's how we got the last president. <laughs> that's why you can't or vote the one before home. that or the. <laughs> It's th- no, I think you should be able to. Why you not? Be able drunk, to. drunk. Might, I, I or you, would you every argue? Time I've ever voted. I've been stoned. Would you argue that drunk doesn't make you more honest? No, I would not argue that. I so I asked that question Did wrong. I, I asked that, right? that question wrong I, uh, because I, really I don't understand your answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so we're both confused. I would not argue with you. Not being I'm too drunk, drunk for this. Makes I'm you gonna, more honest. I just want to be clear. I don't know what I asked you, so I don't know what you said. <laughs> um, I be, I trust fell into myself and I dropped me. Yeah, that was uh, drunk, you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's why I have a secret uh, family. That sounds like the, sounds like the first uh, statement at an AA meeting. <laughs> so uh, I trust out so myself wait. and I drop me. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and here I am. I'm my, an my name's Anto- yeah. I'm an alcoholic. Uh, I love drinking for things that involve me standing in line. So wait, you're saying it I does? I got robbed in a third world country. <laughs> and, uh, repeatedly. Uh, it does make you more honest? Yeah, I would think so. Okay. Do you not want people voting at their most honest? No, I do not. <laughs> yeah, interesting. That's how we got the last. Person. No, no, <laughs> no, yes. no. I think that was people voting at their most. Dis- I think if you really oh, I don't. no, I think a lot of I think a lot of that mm. presidency and th- that isms w- uh, came from uh, cultural peer pressure within the hillbilly community. And if you took some of that away, some of those people were like, man, if I just got to vote how I wanted to, I mean, I wouldn't have voted for that Hillary bitch, but I sure as hell wouldn't have done it for this dude. And maybe would have a real third part i don't know but the point is if you just let people honestly vote you'd have a lot more fuck yous and that's better for everybody i would be willing to i mean you can you let people honestly vote and write in that there would be a writing candidate that would win probably people would pick a third person that's oh, okay. You don't even based on mutual. You that's know what, what I, I mean. That's no, exactly I what I'm saying. You yeah. don't even need a write-in. You just have a it, the, anybody that's not this motherfucker. Well, I don't recognize that name, and you know what? You're good enough to drive me home tonight, cause <laughs> this motherfucker and this motherfucker been hanging out with me since. <laughs> 
8 o'clock, and they can both suck my dick. So get in the car, Gary Johnson. We're yeah, going yeah, home. Yeah. <laughs> and it's that level of drunk. What's the guy? Well, we the count Tyrone hiccups. Says. Yes. Fucking goddamn. Uh, yeah. Joe Biden. Uh, having a brain fart? Yeah, I can't remember his fucking name. Oh, buddy. Is that another, That's a, that another what, what, what did he do? Uh, Ross Perot? I'm going to start at the beginning. No. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bring it down, Slate. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we at? <laughs> I lost the name. Okay. okay. Third, was he a third-party candidate? No, never. He's no. a really, really smart Andrew guy, Zane. and I just think it'd be funny if they just showed up at his door and were like, hey, fucker. Oh, Andrew Yang. Fat dude. No. Okay. You know? <laughs> I was thinking Tyson. Who's the guy who used to be a wrestler, and he's an astrophysicist now? Neil Who's deGrasse Tyson. Tyson. He used God, to be a wrestler. He used to be a wrestler. He was a wrestler all through high school. Oh, 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 wow, but boy. Like, yeah, I, I, no, okay, no, like a WWE. Oh, these stars, brother. Ooh, give me my telescope, and brother. Like a and you're going to be seeing like stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like he was an actual, like, yeah, wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Like like that, that boring that, shit. That Greek, the yeah. Shit the, that he wants to turn into fucking. Yeah, well, <laughs> like a, yeah, spandex overalls. That, yeah, that. Greco Roman wrestling. Yeah. That's, That's that, un, that unmixed, <laughs> that unmixed martial art. <laughs> <laughs> unmixed martial art. <laughs> <laughs> that's, he's a rough. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah, that's 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 the uh, yeah Neil I deGrasse think it'd be Tyson. Funny if they showed up at his house, the Secret Service, like, hey, bad news, everybody voted. Oh, Guess what you you're won. fucking doing the yeah, next four you years? Won. Oh, man. You won. Oh man, no, you're doing it. Oh, Come the fuck home. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, but I have to do Star Talk on Mondays. This yeah. is all. Just it's, to see him had that. I run the Hayden Planetarium. Yeah. I'm the. I'm actually. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> like I, wow. I'm, I'm really. American a, people voted honestly. But 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 but, <laughs> but who's gonna turn the projector on for the high school class? I don't know what he actually does That'd during the day. That'd be great to see. Uh, <laughs> just to see that flat top turn white. Oh, <laughs> in a like minute, a, like a like a dad from two two seven. Yes. Oh. <laughs> like a, I bet like there'd a, be a whole lot less <laughs> clapback real quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my God! It looked like He's Morgan. He's with people. It looked like Morgan. Morgan Freeman uh, by Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo. He's like, yo, we got to stop him from being the president. Yeah, this, this black is cracking too it'd fast. Be the, it'd be the <laughs> first suicide by fucking uh, Secret Service. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot me if yeah, y'all don't shoot me. So fucking funny. Like running away. What do we do? Do we shoot him to keep him from shooting himself? <laughs> What does the Secret Service that, do during a suicide? Oh, like, uh, <laughs> fuck! You gotta uh, listen to us. He said, "Do it." Kneecap him? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta shoot him like RoboCop. <laughs> funny, just to <laughs> shoot the president in the leg. I didn't want to do it, but shit, you, he was about to kill himself. He was about to kill yourself. <laughs> I had to, couldn't have that. He was trying to kill the president, sir. That's <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to kill the president, sir. It's really good. That's really good. <laughs> Suicide by my own cops? Suicide by my cops. <laughs> I'll do it. A self coup. That's a coup. Self coup. Which is also an event I'd like to see drunk. A coup? <laughs> no. Oh. That's. Uh -oh. <laughs> or suicide by my cops. Or oh, no. <laughs> no, this is. This. <laughs> I'm going to get there eventually. Yeah. You're almost out of nouns. Yeah. That's. A suicide by drunk suicide by, by cop. What he was saying, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, by, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know. That, is that there. a sport? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They all look like they're drunk. Yeah. yeah, no, it doesn't have to be a sport. I'm just trying to think of okay. uh, everyday activities now that would be Dri more driving. fun. Dri no, 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 no. We didn't. I say know that's no. not fun. <laughs> we didn't say that. You oh. got too much Peru left on you. <laughs> 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 how about this? What, riding the bus. There you go. Uh, Ride. <laughs> yeah, there's a certain that, level that of. Actually, it is fun. I have done this. Uh, riding oh, the bus drunk, and did. it is fun to make your bus on time and to make the 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 next bus the. The connection the transfer yeah. and you're drunk. How are you even doing it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I've told the story before. My favorite drunk bus story. I was in Toronto and I had done that drinking with I was drinking with the uh, I think it was Glenn Morangi. I was doing a talk show at like noon and we're on like the big talk show AM talk show. Well, the people from Glenn Morangi or Glenn Fittick or somebody showed up with a bunch of whiskey afterwards and I was just drinking with them and the host and I was toast by the time I left this place. They had 30 year old fucking whiskey and were letting me pour my own shit. Oh. So, yeah, so I was hammered. You were high dollar fucked up. Bro, and then I got on, <laughs> yeah, and then I got on the subway in Toronto, and I was just on a car by myself, and I this is the middle of November, or October. They, every year in Toronto, they do a zombie run in, in mm. Dundas Square, or uh, at, at uh, whatever the station is there, and uh, 
these fucking zom- people dressed like zombies go run a 5K, and then at like 1.30 in the afternoon, they all go home. And I was going back to where I was staying, and they all got on the empty train car with me, and I was just <laughs> huddled in a corner, <laughs> drunk out of my brain when 200 zombies got on my... <laughs> oh my and all God. I could do was huddle and cry for two more stops. <laughs> yeah, I drank till the end. That's <laughs> it. Well, at least I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you know they were uh, not real zombies? No, I didn't know. No, I, I didn't even know until that night when I got to the club. I was like, the most fucked up thing happened. Wow. And then they were like, oh, yeah, we do this every year. I was like, y'all should put this on a sign. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's like a wet paint sign. Yeah. Like a, like a don't wet paint sign because <laughs> I peed on the fucking subway. Well, well, if you thought you were just about to get eaten by zombies, you'd probably be so glad that you were drunk. You're like, you know what? I'm glad I prepared for this. Well, yeah. no, <laughs> though, because then you're like, my blood's going to be thinner. It's going to uh, it's thinner. not going to clot. Now well, I'm gonna be one of those anemic man. zombies. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one pint oh, of blood left. Oh, you're for the planning apocalypse. ahead. You're already planning into your life as a zombie. I you don't know, know what drunk me. You don't know what this drunk head <laughs> yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Let me tell you the things that will marinate in this soft I'm batch stuck of flesh. Up here, <laughs> I, know, I know some things drunken, drinking, drunken, drunken doesn't help. Uh, because I, I had a contract. <laughs> time. Oh, yeah. This conversation. <laughs> I had a contract one time where I was working on all like the Chili's restaurants in the Outback Steakhouses. Uh huh. So anytime we had to do anything, we had to do it at night. Right. After they shut the bar down, so we'd go in like two o'clock and work till like five or six in the morning. But this you're be- out of but this they before would send cameras. us out of town. You know, we'd go to like Arizona and work on the Chili's in Arizona. And this before cameras. Oh yeah, you stay in. So you go to the. You go to Chili's and you drink. No, right, you're free and wait point. Your it's own. time to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> and then they leave and close the bar down, and you whip power tools out and start fucking shit up. On like a <laughs> bunch of those Reposados, Trace Amigos. Yeah, I'm fucking done. Yeah, that <laughs> blue margarita do not glass. Remodel drunk. Uh, yeah, no, we, 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 only did it, we only did it twice. No. You, you know, know what you you know what you know what you get if if you let somebody drunk remodel a really good bar for racing pool balls down. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> Yeah. We only did it twice, and uh, we got paid on one of them. That is something I'd watch, though. I watch drunk DIY. Oh, like a, like a, like those, Jerry, those if you hosted a, show. if you hosted a drunk <laughs> fix it show, <laughs> if I watched you punch holes in walls, hammered yeah, you yeah. a bottle of Evan Williams and a fucking hole saw. <laughs> oh my God! Just to count the fucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Son of a shit. Oh, we'll just put a cabinet in front of that. <laughs> well, bring me that's, that duct tape. That's <laughs> on the next episode of How to Fix a Hole in Sheet Rock. That, why is there a cabinet so low? Next episode of This Drunk House. That's, bro, everything else would just be a pop-up of how to solve a different problem you caused on your own. <laughs> Instead of <laughs> dual sponsorship, you're, we'd have You're Lester like a choose-your-own-adventure <laughs> book for fucking drunk remodeling. Well, yeah. they say, if you just punched a hole in your wall... Go to here, and then <laughs> to trying to fix the hole in the wall, you cut three wires that were live. Yeah. If you're trying to fix a trip breaker, go here. Yeah. <laughs> oh he's shit! Fixing the, he's fixing the hole in the wall, and he gets frustrated. He punches another one right next yeah. to him. Like, God oh, damn. damn it! You're the little old lady who swallowed a fly of home improvement. <laughs> this is point of view. You just cut a water line. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. How are we not making this show? Drunk DIY is crazy. That. Plumber. Oh Just my the, God, Sherwin Evan Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This for you to get drunk and just start doing what you think should happen. Yeah, no, I think cabinets should go here. <laughs> like, this yeah. is the living room. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> you see these colors she picked out? They are horse shit. <laughs> I'm picking my own. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you just thought, hey, it's my money now. My, <laughs> my oh, money now. Man. Today we're going to build a towel rack for towels you can use. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be in the shower. Oh, the next episode. Can you hear me, bitch? (laughs) (laughs) How many drinks does it take to make it so I can't change a light bulb? (laughs) Oh, that's so funny. (laughs) Oh, we got to make this show. This is way better than than, than the actual show. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Ooh, the floor routine and like the gymnastics, the whole with all well, the I flips. Think we need to go method actor. <laughs> <laughs> Start drinking now. Yeah. Oh, the floor routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus that ribbon. Cause you know how they be flying around and doing all that like eight twists. Dude, the, the way they the way they land right in that corner. Yeah. That's a nah. 
<laughs> you might <laughs> probably be. So- said, nah. You probably want to be sober for that landing. Drunk it gymnastics. Drunk yeah. gymnast. I feel like the uh, whatever the one is where they gotta they they run real fast and then they jump and they touch that thing one time mm. and then land. Oh the, yeah. The 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 it's, the, it's called the, the pommel uh, horse or the yeah. something. Yeah. That one seems a lot of face plants. very dangerous. Did you see? <laughs> did you see this happen one time at the Olympics? Uh, it's probably in the eighties or something. They because they plan well. I, I no, you no, know no, why no, I'm not laughing at that. I'm but you know why I say that. I think the video. That's, that's exactly what. That's exactly yeah. how I know it was in the 80s because yeah. it's the square footage. The way it's it a looks, little. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it was shot on a VCR. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it I was taped off a VCR onto another VCR. <laughs> yeah, no, actually <laughs> shot with a VCR. It's that bad. It's uh the, the <laughs> <laughs> wait wait <laughs> shot with the VCR. <laughs> so they uh but the the <laughs> these 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 uh springs that they jump off of are yeah. set a very specific. Mm. Distance like 214 millimeters away from the horse, and the track is a certain length and all that stuff. And in this particular Olympic, you can Google the video. It was at like 219 millimeters. So like the first five or six women that ran uh. just were off. So they were like weirdly did flip, but recover. their hand, their no, they would their did flip, but their hands would be six inches away from the pommel. Ah, so yeah. they just keep flipping, yeah, oh like someone, God. yeah, like someone That's what I was like. tossed a GI Joe man across the room. Ah! Just hilariously wrong to laugh at, but hilarious. God damn! Now I want to see synchronized swimming drunk. Oh, they would be thinking they were doing great. Oh. You know what I mean? Like they would just be all fucked oh, up. Oh, half their heads that. would be popping up. The other. <laughs> Oh, they're sinking. I just want to hear the announcer trying to (laughs) put the sink and synchronize. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's funny. Yeah, no, I'm running through the. I don't watch the Olympics enough. Horse. All right, the horse. What do we call it? The. uh, uh, What is it called uh, when the horse stuff happens? Uh, Horse racing? No, it's it's equestrian, (laughs) but it's no when they're. uh, Somebody in the chat's going to tell me. (laughs) They do that. The the prancy shit. The prancing stuff. Oh, fuck. Uh, dressage. 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 Wow. That you were not the one I was looking to for the <laughs> answer. Uh, it, I, was I was looking to you for permission to also stay lost. <laughs> and you uh, you just fuck. Wow, I'm dressage. dumb. What dressage. So in like the Renaissance uh, fair shit. Sounds like a condiment. It, it does. Uh, so <laughs> in the, 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 the dressage event, but the horses are drunk. Ooh, that would yeah, be yeah, fuck yeah, you, Peta, no, right now in your face. It's funny in premise. Yeah. We're not actually doing it before you start protesting. But if you got the horses drunk as shit. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of that's, what, that's, that's a lot of alcohol. Here's my question: If you got those horses drunk, would you still eat them? See, I did yeah, that. I did yeah, the yeah. roundabout way. Yeah, that was I snuck in. I'm trying to prepare you for everything, Jerry. <laughs> everything. I'm your I'm your bullwinkle so to your Rocky. To what he or said that's to the. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding the inroads. Yeah. That's I, know, it. I know elephants get drunk all the time, eating fermented. Fruit, those fermented and they fruits. They go on like rampages through villages and shit and just. All right, stop shit threatening up. me, Jerry. <laughs> this is fucking stop. I'll stop. Just tell me to stop. Just tell me to stop. Flip over tables. Here's a here's that shot. Smells like pineapple. <laughs> All right, well, I'm about to turn into a really scared Indian dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you and on another YouTube video. That's somewhere else. That's Fuck. <laughs> 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 derailed. I know. That's what. <laughs> It's the best of us. Uh, we have to, we have to plan for episode one thousand, right? Are we, are we, do we even know what we're? Are we bringing in guests? Are we, are we? Is it just us? Are we, are we going to rotate people through? Are we going to have phoners? Are we going to have Zoom callers? We're going to. Uh, there's a lot to take into oh, account. Yeah. Uh, Sam Damaris is is producing a lot of that. Uh, okay. w- that's 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 we've decided just now. Uh, <laughs> 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 so it's gonna uh, be a lot like this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's Except funny. Sam might be here. <laughs> um, <laughs> the uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna do some cool stuff, and uh, I know he's got some good ideas, and uh, we're uh-huh. gonna come up with some good stuff. And we got a thousand dollars to give away. That's oh, yeah. important. Uh, so uh, be subscribed. That means click the button. If you're listening to this now, find your way to YouTube. Uh, it's really easy through the app. Just make sure you're subbed. You'll get a little ding if you hit the uh, notifications button. And uh, we encourage you to be here for it. It's a thousand of something. Yeah, that's we'll make a sketch about blowing a thousand bucks. That's Ooh. a. Uh, oh, can I be the guy in a shirt that says a thousand bucks? No, that's a. Uh, <laughs> it would have to in a Chili's name tag. Uh, <laughs> we would. <laughs> 
Uh, Antonio I Aguilar. You went there. Yes. I, 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 all of us at the table. You won't even let us touch hands. I can't even be in here pantsless. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? It's, it's, I like that's Trey's. Be- I can't even be here pantsless. <laughs> that's, that's that sounds like somebody in my family would say. I can't even be here pantsless. Like he's mad kids. that there's a rule I have. That's what I'm hung up on. Worst goddamn church I ever been to. I I'm swear so, to God. I'm so sorry. I'll talk to myself. I uh, like going to Slade's house. Well, I have to wear pants. <laughs> Antonio <laughs> interrupted my relationship with the Lord. Yeah. You are uh, you run a lot of shows in Houston. What do you have coming up? Where are the people in Houston? We have fans that literally run around and go to see where we're hanging out. Where are you hanging out? Because you're a fun hang. Uh, well, I got a show. I ain't hanging out. All right, but, yeah, but you're there. All right, where are you professionally <laughs> being boring? Uh, yeah, no. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. I, I got a show at a uh, Walking Stick Brewing Company tomorrow, Tuesday night. And then uh, this episode about, came out Friday, so perfect. This is Friday, if you well, if you're hearing that Friday, I'm I'm hosting that Latino Learning Center mic, which sounds no, that's a uh, that's a, that's just uh, that's in East Downtown. That's a really good uh, yeah, that's a good little joint. There's uh, pon- cool. is Poncho Claus involved in that? Shout yes, out. yes. Shout uh, out Poncho. Shout out yeah. to Poncho shout Claus, Poncho. a uh, a dear friend of the podcast, and uh, he always uh, he always we we, we back each other's he place. He promotes the fuck out of Houston. Guys. Yeah, he he's a, he's a patron saint of the he's scene, the and uh, if yeah. you're doing something with him, then uh, please send the Whiskey Brothers best. Uh, we have episode 1000. We have a live show on April 2nd. Um, the thousandth episode happens March 2nd. <laughs> April 2nd is the live show at Dukes and Humble. You can catch me uh, March 24th ish in Vegas at Delirious. And then Trey and I are going to be in Dallas in April. There's places I'll be in to Dallas catch March us. March 4th. Where you, oh, yeah? Uh, some brewery. Gotta nice. Remember the name of it. Yeah. That's uh, they thank you for the promotion. <laughs> um, uh, I'll be, we I'll be in, I'll well, be in tonight, Dallas. March technically, March 10, I'm at Memorial Trail Ice House right now. Okay, perfect. And then uh, who are you with uh, tonight? Uh, I'm, probably, I'm headlining, but I uh, I tried to get Antonio, but he had Poncho's gigs. So I got Nick Palermo and Abby Ballman. Ah, well, good uh, good acts. Uh, to you guys in the chat and everywhere else, <laughs> we thank you uh, very, very, very much. Uh, we raise a glass. Uh, $1,001 bills, is that how you want us to do it? We could do it that way. Uh, marinated whores I see in the chat. Uh, oh, boy. All right, that's the reason I don't go to the chat. Adam Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. You are the best, uh, one Thank of the coolest you, film producers in the world, and he uh, slums it with us on Mondays. Uh, we raise a glass, which uh, yours is probably empty. Uh, we're assholes. Uh, cheers. We'll see you guys. Follow us on YouTube and everywhere else. Antonio Aguilar is at Alpaca Pone, yeah. and we're out. Thank you. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.